parents are not happy with the Rockland Charter School Academy for having transgender discussions in a kindergarten class. And these parents feel betrayed by the school district that they were not notified. Those discussions were earlier this summer during the last few days of the academic school year. CBS 13 Sharin Merger joins us live from Rockland where a school board meeting just wrapped up. Sharin. Sam and Adrian, it was quite an emotional board meeting at Rockland Academy tonight and it was standing room only with parents and teachers speaking out tonight about a teacher who read books to her kindergartner class and also during that time that kindergartner was going through a transition in front of her peers and tonight that teacher spoke out. And what I will share over and over again is how proud I was of my students. An emotional Rockland Academy teacher addressing a packed house of parents, many furious about her decision to discuss the topic of gender identity inside her kindergarten class. It was never my intent to harm any students, only to support them through a difficult situation. The teacher defended her actions to read two books she says were given to her by a transgender child going through a transition. The kindergartners came home very confused about whether or not you can pick your gender, whether or not they really were a boy or a girl. Parents say besides the books, the transgender student at some point during class also changed clothes and was revealed as her true gender. And many parents say they feel betrayed and blindsided. I want her to hear from me as a parent what her, her gender identity means to her and to our family. Um, not from a book that may be controversial. My daughter went home crying, shaking, so afraid that she could turn into a boy. The issue was not on the agenda, so parents spoke out during Monday night's public comment. It's really about the parents being informed and involved and, you know, giving us the choice and the rights about, you know, what's getting introduced to our kids and at what age. Many teachers also speaking out in support of what transpired inside the classroom on the last days of the academic year. Head in the direction of banned books or book lists or selected literature that should only be read inside or outside of the classroom. I think that that's a very dangerous direction to go. Now, the district says that the books were age appropriate and fell within their literature selection policy. And unlike sex education, the topics of gender identity don't require parent prior notice. But because of tonight's comment, the district will be taking this up as an agenda item next month. All right. Sounds like there's a lot of pressure there. Okay. Very good. Shireen, thanks very much. Live for us tonight in Rockland.